Hey everyone, welcome to the second video in our series on the reactions of chapter 10. Um, in the last video, we talked about Grignards. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about organolithium reagents, which are very, very, very similar to uh, Grignards. Okay, so organolithium reagents. So uh, we'll start this off again by talking about the formation or how we get a organolithium. All right. So similar to the last video uh, where we started off with some alkyl halide, in this case, we also start off with some alkyl halide. So chlorine, bromine, iodine, something like that. And in order to get an organolithium, what we do is we add two, <clears throat> two equivalents of lithium in uh, hexane or pentane or uh, at ether or THF, there's a lot of options, right? Um, so I'm going to use hexane in this case. And so uh, what happens is that instead of the lithium inserting between the chlorine and the bond, the lithium is actually just going to completely replace the chlorine. So now I just have a lithium here. And this is my organolithium. And this acts, again, just like in the last video, whenever the uh, Grignard acted like a carbanion, this also acts like a carbanion, okay? So this acts like this. Okay, so this acts like a carbanion again. All right, so again, very, very, very similar, right? And, you know, I can take pretty much anything and turn it into a... Uh, a organolithium. So let's take a look at this vinyl chloride here. Uh, we can also turn this into organolithium. Uh, I'll put this in diethyl ether. You know, we can use a lot of different solvents. So again, uh, all that's going to happen is I just replace the chlorine with a lithium. All right. That's it. That's all we're doing. Okay, so now let's take a look at the reactions and then we'll talk about one mechanism in this video. We won't, I won't beat you over the head with uh, two mechanisms in this video like we did in the last one. <laughs> okay, so what happens is I take my organolithium. So I'm gonna take that last organolithium, why not? And I react it with some carbonyl group. So in this case, I'm gonna react it with a ketone in the first step. And then the second step, I'm just going to throw in some acid. And if you understood Grignards, you understand this. Okay. So I take the carbonyl group, turn it into an alcohol. Okay. Carbonyl group becomes an alcohol. And then whatever my organolithium is, I just add that on there. So this is two carbons. So one, two, I'm done. That's it. Okay, <laughs> that's it. So again, uh, just like last time, ketones become three degree alcohols. So I bet you're thinking aldehydes probably become two degree alcohols, right? Just like last time, you would be correct. So uh, let's take another, uh, let's, actually let's start off with an alkyl halide. Um, Start off with this alkyl halide here. And uh, as a first step, <clears throat> I'm going to add two equivalents of Li. In diethyl ether, ET2O. And then as a second step, I'm gonna throw in some aldehyde so we'll throw in this aldehyde and then we just throw in some acid, right? So now again, all I do is turn this aldehyde into an alcohol. So turn it into an alcohol and then I just add whatever this is here, okay? So this first step is gonna turn it into an organolithium. So this bromide would become a lithium after the first step, right? And then, so that means that I would just add whatever this is. So, 
I add this group. And that's it. Okay, so this is my uh, product. So again, aldehydes become two degree alcohols. Just like last time, okay? No difference, no difference at all, okay? <clears throat> and then let's do one with formaldehyde. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a simple simple one here and then as a first step we put in two equivalents of li in et2o as a second step we put in formaldehyde third step h3o plus so again i take formaldehyde and turn it into an alcohol all right and then i add the group so i add these two carbons because this chlorine would become a lithium after this first step, right? We'll take a look at this again, right? This is just one, two, three carbons with an OH. So one, two, three carbons with an OH. Primary alcohol, right? So I've made this primary alcohol. So that means that just like in the last video, formaldehyde becomes a one degree alcohol. <clears throat> okay, so uh, just like in the last video, there is a little bit of a caveat to this. All right, so let's talk about two other reactions. The first one is, you guessed it, acid chlorides, all right? So acid chlorides do the same thing with this as they do with Grignards, all right? So we can add two equivalents to uh, an acid chloride, all right? <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna take the same acid chloride I took last time, okay? And then as a first step, I'm gonna add two equivalents of some organolithium in ether. And then as a second step, I'm going to throw in H3O plus. Okay. So again, I, just like in the last video, I turned the carbonyl group into an OH and I get rid of chlorine, of chloride, excuse me. And then whatever my organolithium is, it's going to add two times, just like a Grignard. A Grignard adds twice, so organolithium will add twice. So now I just add two phenyl groups to this. So one phenyl group. Two phenyl groups. Okay, and that's it. That's my whole reaction there. Okay, so for an acid chloride, <clears throat> with an acid chloride, it also becomes a three degree alcohol. All right, now let's take a look at this with an ester and I promise nothing crazy is about to happen. Esters, just like in the last video, also become a three degree alcohol. Okay, so nothing, nothing crazy here. All right, same thing's gonna happen. So, uh, oh, what, what do I wanna use? We'll use two equivalents of this organolithium, I guess. <clears throat> so now in this case, I just get rid of this, uh, this group here and put an OH there, okay? And I just add this group three times, or this group twice, excuse me. So three carbons twice. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is my product, okay? That's it. <clears throat> so in the last video, I promised that we would do a mechanism with a uh, ester. So we are going to do a mechanism with an ester in this video. So let's do this mechanism. Okay. 
<clears throat> so uh, this mechanism is basically the same as the acid chloride, but just slightly different, okay? So I'm starting with this ester, and then again, I added two equivalents of one, two, three lithium, <clears throat> and then throw in some acid. And then this gave me this alcohol, this three degree alcohol. <clears throat> Those are my, that's my product, all right? I add twice, all right? Okay, so let's look at the mechanism. So I start off with this ester, right? Draw all my electrons on here. And this organolithium is gonna come in and it's going, this bond is going to attack right here and break that bond. This is the same, the exact same as the Grignard so far, right? I'm just using organolithium instead, right? Other than that, it's exactly the same. There's no difference. Not two, sorry. So now I have a lithium counter ion here, okay? And then I've added this group thus far, okay? So now this is gonna reform just like in last time, okay? Except last time in the last video, uh, whenever that reformed, the chlorine left. Now this alkoxide group is actually a pretty good leaving group. So it's actually gonna leave, all right? So that's gonna leave and then we're going to get this ketone, okay? And we also get that alkoxide with a lithium. So lithium alkoxide group are going to kind of be together here. So I get that, all right? So now this ketone, ketone's gonna get attacked by lith organolithium, right? So organolithium's gonna come in again and it's gonna attack this ketone group. And that bond's gonna break. Again, I just form this intermediate with lithium. And I've added this as well, right? So I've added both of those. So then the very last thing that's gonna happen is my acid is gonna come in, my H3O plus. And it's just gonna protonate this O. And then I'm done. So I get my OH. And I also get lithium and I also get water. And that's my mechanism uh, for a ester going through this, all right? So it's exactly the same, except instead of a chlorine leaving, we're having this alkoxide group is leaving, okay? So that's literally the only difference other than that it's exactly the same, okay? So organolithium and uh, Grignard's very, 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 very similar reagents, okay? They all do the same, the same thing, okay? So hopefully this video was helpful, hopefully you gleaned something from this. Um, in the next video, we're going to be talking about Gilman reagents or lithium diocule cuprate reagents. So hopefully you join me for that one. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.